seedless grapes genetically modified. The main reason for the cultivation of grapes is to be utilized as a fresh fruit. And to make it increasingly favors, the grapes developed into grape without a grape called seed or seedless. This new grape varieties were developed from the pollination between grape tetraploid as males and grape diploid as females. This seedless grape basically have males and females flowers are complete, but the seeds are not formed due to designate seeds and stringy her stamen was barren. So if the seed is still found in the fruit, it is not the fault seeding, but due to a mistake or excess grant of fertilizer. Seedless fruits such as watermelons, oranges, grapes and more generally is the result of plant breeding to produce the best quality fruit with genetically engineered or cross process of some kind of superior seedlings to produce the best quality seeds. Although at first seedless grapes is a process that occurs naturally in plants through the process of natural mutation, yet people consider this discovery as an advantage that can be exploited to become the preferred farm products by the community. So they do their research to get the formula to produce widely the seedless grapes. The process of cultivation of the fruit from the start seeding the seeds to harvest on seed bearing fruit or fruit without seeds have the same process and only differs from the process of the selection of seeds. The seeds of the fruit without seeds we can find on a farm store sold around us. The seeds of the fruit without seeds produced by companies that conduct research to reverse engineer and modify genetically on plants developed from pollination between grape tetraploid as males and diploid diploid as females. Many scholars divide the plant breeding based on methods used in conventional breeding into 2E and non-conventional. Sexual cross method is part of the conventional and mutation breeding method and biotechnology is part of non-conventional breeding. Both of these methods have advantages and drawbacks of each. However in practice in breeding seedless grapes both these methods can be combined to obtain the best results and time efficiency. Repair of main properties of grapes, seedless through radiation mutation induction conventional crosses with embryo rescue. Increased genetic diversity through protoplast fusion and doubling chromosome, colchiploid, which are selected individually. 1. Improvement of the main properties of the grapes seedless through radiation mutation induction. The mutation is a process in which a gene material changes the genetic structure of both single gene or any number of genes or chromosomal that occur spontaneously or artificially. Mutation differentiated into two spontaneous mutations and mutations. A spontaneous mutation that is a mutation caused by natural and artificial mutation is a mutation due to deliberate action treatment by humans. Artificial mutation considered as a source of genetic diversity for the repair of the fruit, self-compatibility, and resistance to pests and diseases. 2. Conventional crossover with embryo culture. A cross is a way to move the desired trait from the donor to the recipient's elders. Because genetic diversity can increase the intersection then crosses into components that are very important in the breeding and the basis of improvement of an organism. Cross began with the election of elders based on properties that will be glorified, then followed by taking pollen from the male flowers, emasculosi. Although the cross is a very important stage in the breeding, the cross is not a simple job because each type of plant has its own way naturally in pollination and the presence of natural constraints in a cross. Embryo culture is one of the most somaclinal technology to apply early in plant breeding and has been used in a number of circumstances to obtain a hybrid intergenric or interspecific. With an embryo, embryo culture, separated from the seeds that are developing a few days after fertilization and bred in liquid or solid medium in a controlled environment to produce seeds of plants that can produce mature plants. 
That's a brief explanation of our seedless grapes genetically modified, hopefully helpful.